Now, we've talked a lot at The Grill about the kind of the Netflix effect. And it seems like it works in two ways. For you, Wick, in particular, it seems like Netflix is both a potential competitor as well as a distribution partner, we, as we saw with Annihilation and with Cloverfield Paradox earlier this year, where they were part of your rollout of your, of your content um, directly to consumers. So how do you conceive of this behemoth at this point? Honestly, it goes back to what we said about kind of the theatrical experience. I think there are stories that I love that I don't feel are theatrical. Um, and there are stories that I still feel like are they're either Paramount properties or they're old scripts that the filmmakers, that, you know, I used to be a producer, so nothing was worse as a producer than a studio saying, oh, yeah, yeah, someday we'll make it, but sitting on it forever. So as a, as a studio head now, what I really want to do is provide those producers with opportunities to get their stories told. Um, and there are situations, absolutely, where I read a script and I love it, but I don't believe it's worth the $100 million of marketing spend and, and that the returns will not you know, benefit the studio, and yet I want to see the story on screen. So yeah, we'll take, you know, we'll, we'll go to Netflix with properties and with our producers. If they want it, I'm gonna help them facilitate that because we can make a little money and they can get their story told. Now the other thing about Netflix that strikes me is that they, unlike the studios, have an awful lot of data about their consumers that the legacy studios just don't have. Why is that the case? So I'm going to step back a second about this, and I, I think that the word data is um, very confusing for people. I think it's very ominous. It's like, what is data? And I think data um, is people, customers trying to tell us something all the time. So don't forget, if you see a number that somebody's trying to tell you something. The second thing about data is that it's also not just numbers, it's words. And yes, Netflix has a shit ton of data. Um, and because their relationship, I, I'll give you an interesting fact. It's like, you know, when, when I hear a lot of like comparing studios to Netflix, and what's interesting is that um, their financial fingerprint um, is like 100% credit card, right? Ours is closer to fast food. We are a 50-50 cash credit card business. Fast food is like a 30-35% um, credit card to cash business. And, and so, of, of course, when you're direct to consumer, you can have that type of data. You can look <coughs> and see, you know, what are they watching, right? I think what WIC was getting at is something we've been trying to get at as well, which is getting to the heart of why people are interested in certain movies or going to certain movies, and it's not broad genres, like um, A Quiet Place. I, I, I couldn't agree with you more for what you say that it is, like the type of movie that it is. Um, it might have an umbrella of that, but when you get to data, is if you can get in there and understand what people really feel about it and how do you match it, and I'm gonna tell a very quick story about The Greatest Showman. We built all these uh, data tools, and the first movie that we used it on was actually Greatest Showman. And you know, because our business, you know, has been forged in um, in creativity and instinct, sometimes it doesn't serve us really well. And in this case, um, we said that our comps were. Um, so when you say comps, you're talking about comparable films that have been comparable released previously. Films that have been released. Right. Okay. Whether it's Hugh Jackman films or musicals Lame or circus right. films or Right. So we went down the musical and to the talent because we all get very drunk on our talent and on our filmmakers. Um, so to sober us up, we used the we started using the data just to, from a directional standpoint and what customers were telling us, meaning those that actually watched the trailer at least seventy five percent of the way through, the number one movie was Cinderella, number two was Beauty and the Beast, and number three was Hidden Figures. And what they all have in common is, well, there's several things. One is it's about loving the unlovable. The other is about underdogs. Had nothing to do with being a musical. It had nothing to do, um, even though we love Hugh, it, there wasn't a Hugh movie that showed up. Because the story that they wanted to see was not about P.T. Barton. The story that they wanted to see were the oddities, were about living life for who they were out into the real world. This is storytelling. This is understanding um, there's, there's also a story on what we think something is, and there's storytelling what customers think we are. And so our panel is all is about the future of movies, 
And if we don't start understanding our customers and what they are wanting, one is we may be making some of the wrong stuff, the other is we may be marketing the wrong way, or maybe you have it right, but you want to actually um, start knowing and having less guessing to keep the business healthy. How important in this now increasingly data-driven universe then is the gut, is your gut instinct? I think it's actually as crucial as it's always been. I, I think that there are movies like The Quiet Place is a great example. Deadpool is another example. We have an upcoming movie, Bohemian Rhapsody, that would have failed all the data tests. And I think this is where you, know, you can't let one thing ever rule in terms of is it data or not data. You have to be able to look at it and humans make decisions on the data. And I think you look at things and say, you know what, I think we need to take a chance. You know, let's forget what this says. Or if you see data and you're like, oh, okay, we might not be able to get the return we need on this, so either we need to go rethink it or not do it. Um, so I, I, I think in the end, it's, it's all about humans, and it's giving humans, people like WIC, more information to make decisions. I think you're a human. I think, jail's not a human, look at her boots. Um, so so I, 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 th I think that the answer is, you gotta have both. And I...